Hello, yes, Pauline Hansen needs to wake up and smell the coffee. That's right. Firstly though, Miss Hansen, if you're watching this video, I'll be honoured. Let me put this to you. Do you really believe the Australian security services, political opponents, left or right, haven't sent spies into one nation to derail it and stop it, especially uh, before the uh, Queensland election uh, that's just uh, passed the 25th? Do you really believe they haven't sent spies in? Well, they have. One in particular, and there's probably more, is Steve Dixon that parachuted from the Liberal National Party into one nation right before the Queensland election coincidence, of course. You see, you haven't fared as well as you thought you would have done. I know you're saying the votes haven't been counted yet and you've still pulled an excellent vote. That may be right, but you didn't achieve what you set out to achieve, which would have been the winning of many seats. You haven't done that, but you've still got a good vote. You can still build on that. However, you need to wake up and smell the coffee. You see, Miss Hansen, I believe you didn't do as well as you should have done for several reasons. Firstly, sitting in the Senate in that Baker outfit was disastrous. You looked like a little weirdo, you looked odd, strange and scary. Who put that idea into your head? I'll never know. That was a bad move. Steve Dixon pushing the medicinal cannabis oil uh, treatment for children that are, having, that are having seizures. That was a bad move because cannabis is illegal. It conjures up in the uh, public's mind. Uh, cannabis, drugs, drug dealer, illegality. That's what it does. It does. Also, Steve Dixon pushing the um, domestic violence policy. That was a loser straight away because you're not going to appease both sides. Either the estranged father or the abused mother. You're going to upset one or the other, which it looks like you have. And also, on the firing range with your semi-automatic pistol like Annie Oakley or uh, Ned Kelly. Again, the public just conjures up a woman with a gun. Who's she going to shoot if she gets in power? The Muslims. And like I've said many times before in these videos, the public are not thinkers. They're just humble people. They're just voters. They're not like members or ideologues or uh, supporters that see it the way we do. They don't. In fact, they can see it, see it the complete opposite. And also, and finally, I've left the video at the end. The confrontation with the Labour guy. What in the world was you thinking of? And always remember this. The bad guy, which is us, portrayed by the TV and whatever, can never be the underdog. Always remember that. But all the same, was you set up on Facebook to go into a China shop like a, uh, a raging bull, which you did, not literally, which you did with the Labour guy. You confronted him, the finger, all that. Lie. Were you set up for that? You know, was you set up? Uh, on Facebook, someone's attacked your candidate, Damien Huxham, knowing quite well how you were going to react. Maybe others prompted you to go and confront the Labour guy. I don't know, but either way, it was disastrous. Right in front of the cameras, they just happened to be there, of course. Another coincidence. Then on primetime TV. And like I've said again, the public are not thinkers. They don't say to themselves, well, Pauline Hanson was right there confronting that guy. They just see confrontation and violence and it scares them. It doesn't us, the activists, the members, the ideologues. We see it totally differently. But the public doesn't, right? And these were all the mistakes you made. I'm sure some of them may have been your own ideas. Others may have been put in your head by other people. Steve Dixon, I don't know. But them two policies he was pushing... The medicinal cannabis oil and the domestic violence one was suicidal for one nation, especially right before the Queensland election. You've got to learn from this, Miss Hansen, to believe the Australian security services, political opponents, left or, left or right, haven't sent spies and agents into one nation to derail it and stop it would be naivety at its worst. OK, thank you. One Nation Senator Pauline Hanson is calling for the Labor candidate for Harvey Bay to be disendorsed over allegations he physically assaulted his One Nation opponent. Cameras captured a run-in between Senator Hanson and the ALP candidate Adrian Tantari this afternoon. She claims she called out his bullying after he gave her the finger. You are nothing but a bully. He's actually has bullied Damien at the polling booth physically and he's nothing but an aggressive and he's a, a nasty piece of work. Adrian Tantari has denied the claims. I just think, again, it's just a total fabrication. It's dirty politics and it's gutter politics just to disperse my name.
One Nation candidate Damien Huxham says he's taken the matter to police. Excuse me. You are nothing but a bully. Oh, so people so like you. Excuse me, don't you? Yeah, please, don't uh, do you mind not touching me, mate? Thank you. So don't be such a bully. Don't be such a bully. Don't be such a bully. Don't now, Just go you away. Like this with my candidate. No, no, no. You don't need no, people no, like no. you on the floor. Prove it. So don't prove be it, such a bully. Prove it, Pauline. Come on, prove don't it. Don't be such a bully. I'm telling you. Okay. You can feel more you like, James. You can feel more you like, Just mate. don't be such a bully. No. Everyone has a right. Thank you. Excuse me, this is disability candidate. parking. Can you please move out of the way? Disability parking. Disability parking. Oh, oh, disability oh, parking. Oh, oh, I don't accept it. You're my bully. How am I bullied? How am I bullied? You know how no. you are. No, no, you can't. Just, just say it. Just say it on film, Pauline. How am I bullied? Thank you.